Hey guys, what's up? It's Mooface here back again with a brand new video. If you're new around here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit the little bell so you get notified when I upload videos. Don't forget to leave a like and drop me a comment down below to let me know what you think. So guys, I know it's been a little while since I've uploaded anything. I'm so sorry, but my laptop has decided that it wants to freeze while I'm trying to make a video. So haven't really been able to get anything out there. Hopefully I have a new setup soon, so I'll be able to bring out a lot more videos for you guys. But I wanted to get something out there before DLC 3 drops, and there should be a lot more coming out during DLC 3 as well. So with that aside, let's get into it. Today I want to share some ideas about the upcoming DLCs for Infinite Warfare Zombies. There's a lot of leaks going around the internet at the moment about DLC 3, so it doesn't leave much for the imagination and the theories, but I've thought of some other things we can think about. So first off, Ghosts and Skulls. We've had it in every map so far, so how are they going to incorporate this into the next DLC? There's a very high possibility that we're going back to the 60s, which would mean that it would be a prequel to Skullbuster. They definitely had arcade games back in the 60s, but it seems they were really only introduced in the late 60s. The kind of games they had in the arcade in that era were more of the pinball and the claw machine type games, so maybe we'll get a pinball type skull destroying game, which seems pretty awesome. The next thing I was thinking about is the Afterlife Arcade. In Spaceland, we had an Easter egg which incorporated the Afterlife Arcade, which was the physical teddy bears for one of the secret songs. It didn't happen often, but the afterlife is definitely a place for the teddy bear to spawn. So why haven't we had any other easter eggs that lead to the afterlife? I'm not sure if many people have noticed, but you can actually shoot the ticket booth with the air gun from the shooting game and the glass smashes in it. All of the glass smashes, gone. I find this a bit odd, wondering if it may lead to something. It is the only thing that isn't a game which is interactable in the afterlife. Also, why do we only have the one easter egg which leaks through? It's strange, and I really, really hope that they incorporate it more in the next few maps. So the last thing I want to cover is this cross map or super easter egg for IW Zombies. Lee Ross has slyly confirmed that there's going to be a cross map easter egg and that he's going to cut his hair when we have solved the final easter egg after DLC 4. I find this very interesting. I really enjoy the easter egg hunts and this is going to be awesome. This means that once we've finished all four of the maps, we have to go back to each of the map, find little things and complete this much bigger super easter egg. But I'm wondering what the reward will be for this. We've already been able to unlock our special characters in each map, we've got our perkaholics on all of these maps, and we have packed weapons in Shaolin Shuffle from the Magic Wheel, so what could they possibly do? A little while ago, Lee was asked about the Extinction game mode. I think someone had asked why they got rid of it or something along those lines, to which Lee replied, who says we did? So what if we get a whole new game mode after the final easter egg, or even another like side map or something with another easter egg inside of it? I think either of these would be pretty awesome. There was also an almost confirmation that we'll be able to play as Will and Wyler. Come to think of it. What if we play as Willard Wyler in an extinction type mode? He is the instigator who has caused all of this chaos. How awesome would it be to play as him being the villain? Let me know what you think about this. It's a pretty random train of thought, I know, but it would be super awesome in my opinion. So guys, before I end things, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Lee Ross. He's been super awesome through all of these maps, through all of the releases. He's been really active within the community, answering questions. Lately, he's been leaving likes on comments. He's added a bunch of us on PlayStation and Xbox. He's even joined people on live streams to answer our questions as well. So Lee Ross, thank you so much for being so active with us. It's really awesome. All right, everyone, that's all I've got time for today. So. Let me know what you think about all of these thoughts. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you agree, disagree, if you've got your own thoughts. It'd be really awesome to know what everybody thinks. Make sure before you leave, you smash that like button, turn it blue. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell if you want to be notified about new content. And I will see you all next time. Bye!